Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this Dantorp review of British Airways A380-800 flight BA-269 from Heathrow to Los Angeles International Airport. It turns out one of today's biggest pop stars was on board this flight in first class and I actually bumped into her at baggage claim after the flight. So if you want to find out who it was, make sure to stick around till the end. That was the wall. Who has 3,000? The A380 to LA. I was originally booked on AA's earlier 777 flight, which I missed due to a late inbound connecting flight. That left me rebook on the A380, which I definitely cannot complain about. Uh, the rebooking agents were super helpful. They gave us the best seats I could have asked for. So I got the opportunity to make this little review. The flight time out to LA is usually 10 and a half hours. As you can see, there's a very long walkway before you get to the actual aircraft. I assume it was just our gate. This time and then not all A380 gates are like this at Heathrow, but it was definitely a rather fun walk, at least when you're excited to go on vacation and full of energy. It's also very fun when you come out to the jetway area and you're greeted with all these options for which rows you're seated in and thereby where you're meant to board, which is a great little touch, um, specifically to the A380. <laughs> Great, thank you. Now you look like that blonde from Whip Twisted. Do people tell you oh, that really? all the time? No, not really. Oh, okay. well, thank you. So as you just heard, and I just remembered this when I saw the video, the flight attendant, I think she was the purser, was obsessed with how I looked like a guy from something called McBusted. I've never seen it, but it was pretty hilarious. She told me several times and it was definitely a nice uh, personal touch for me that the flight attendant really engaged in that sort of random conversation with an economy class passenger. As we boarded, I had my usual fascination with the high ceiling and just the beauty and airiness of the A380 cabin. And it's definitely very different from other long haul flights I've been on with British Airways, such as their 747, which in fairness, I know they are refitting now, but no long haul aircraft, in my opinion, can compete with the A380 when it comes to spaciousness and quietness. As we departed, everything went smoothly, everything was on time, and it's just a joy to sit back and watch the wing on the A380. So here is a little look at the seat with a great adjustable headrest, um, really nice back support, a little pillow that's typical for economy, headphones, and a toothbrush and toothpaste, which is very rare in economy nowadays, I'd say. And that was definitely a nice touch from BA as well as the usual blanket, which was also pretty thick and comfortable. As far as leg room went, there was quite a good amount, although I was obstructed by the entertainment box, which was a shame, but is all too common in economy class window seats these days. The entertainment system I did not record, I don't know why, but it was great, there was very good interactivity, good air, good shows, good movies. This will definitely keep you entertained for whatever duration your flight is. Once again, you can see how high the ceiling is. I was stretching up my arm and I can basically stand up at the seat and I'm six foot two or 187 centimeters. So that's a huge thing. And again, the distance between the seats and the windows is so large, it just gives you the sense of space. The meal service started shortly after takeoff and we had a couple of meal choices. Um, I don't remember what they were unfortunately and I didn't write it down, but as you'll see, I had the ravioli with sun-dried tomato sauce and cheese, which was served with a side of potato salad, a bread roll, and a delicious peach custard sort of dessert. Uh, this funny note was in my food. I'm not quite sure what it is or what it means. I think it's for the crew only, but it sort of worried me. It was talking about food gone bad and stuff. So, not sure what that is. If you know, please leave it in the comments. 
So overall, although pretty small, the meal was absolutely delicious for economy class. Everything was pretty fresh, except these packaged items, obviously, but they still tasted very good. I was satisfied. It was a great mixture of uh, sweet and savory, and definitely one of the better meals I've had in economy. So, after the meal, as often on transatlantic flights, it was time for a nap, especially on a flight this long. So they dimmed the cabin, I reclined my seat, and I slept pretty comfortably, actually. When my seat was assigned and I saw that I was in the last seat of this cabin section, I was like, oi, they, a seat without recline for 10 and a half hours does not sound good, but it turns out these last seats were the best in the entire cabin. It's not only do they recline just as much as any other economy seat in the cabin, but they also don't disturb anyone behind you when you recline, so you could keep the seat reclined during the entire flight. So after some rest and movies, they served afternoon tea about an hour and a half before landing in this, I have to say, adorable setting where they included a great sandwich, a scone that was better than most of the scones I've had outside an airplane, which is strange to say, but it was definitely very satisfactory and fresh tasting. Although a little small, again, just like the lunch, the food was extraordinary by economy standards. Just to go a little further into the entertainment system, right underneath the screen there was a USB port where you could charge your iPhone or whatever other phone you have, uh, and that's always nice on a flight. And apparently there were power ports on this aircraft, although I didn't use them, it's good to know and it's always a good feature to have. And the screen was good resolution, nice size, and again, had great features. Okay guys, so that was just a little teasing. If you want to see more of that beautiful approach, you're going to have to watch the landing video from this flight, which is linked straight in the description below. Just to conclude what I thought about this flight, overall I was extremely impressed. It was one of the most comfortable, memorable, and relaxing flights I've had. And although this wasn't in my new review format or I had that much footage, I just had to share it with you because I would definitely recommend British Airways' A380, be it for the amazing service and the kind flight attendants, to the hard product, which is super comfortable with good recline, or the great food, which kept me satisfied and was great tasting. As soon as I got on this flight, I knew I was lucky to be rebooked from the 777-300. The seats I was given on this flight were even better than the seats I had pre-selected on the American Airlines flight. And one little thing to note is that British Airways does charge for seat assignments, which is a shame. But then again, I got these seats for free thanks to the delays. It's not often, but sometimes delays can be awesome. So, when it all comes together, this just shows why British Airways is such a well-respected airline and why the A380 is such a well-respected aircraft especially among people like me, and you've heard me praise it so many times. So again, if you ever have the chance to fly the A380, 
with any airline as well if you're going anywhere it will be worth a little extra money because seriously the comfort level is higher you will feel almost like you're in premium economy although your economy just with the extra space you have around you so i hope you guys enjoyed this little review make sure to go into the description follow the links to my social media there and make sure to subscribe or follow me there um so you can get the newest updates and my newest videos and flight information as well as hit the like button on this video leave a comment with what you thought and until next time my friends fly safe who was the secret celebrity on my flight? None other than British pop sensation Ellie Golding.